So this video is still on the chapter of divisibility in uh, integral domains. And um, in this video uh, we are going to see one concept that is a huge source of confusion. In the case of integers, irreducibles and prime are equivalent. We are so used, since we were young, of seeing a prime number as a number that you cannot factor out, right? But the thing is here an abstract algebra or group theory, you see. So when you take other structures, um, in general, they are not. This is not true, okay? And since now we are on integral domains, this is not true, and this is a huge, as I said, a huge source of confusions. So if we have to, dis to make the distinction between uh, primes uh, and irreducibles, uh, the best way is to pick integral domains in this form, like this. You pick integral domains like this. So, uh, so this is integral domains. This is a set in the form a plus b uh, d square root here, such that a and b are in the integers, okay? Um, so we are going to pick this sort of integral domains to illustrate the, the fact that irreducibles and prime are not equivalent. Of course, uh, here um, there are some limitations here. d cannot be 1. If d is 1, this is a, a trivial thing. Okay, so d cannot be 1, and uh, d, and you cannot divide, d is not divisible by a prime squared. Okay, otherwise you get a different structure. Okay, so we're going to pick integral domains under this structure, okay, a plus b square root d, such that a and b are in integers, are in the integers, but b is not 1, and d is not divisible by a prime squared. Uh, when I get into number theory, the, 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 the more advanced one, we are going to see that this sort of uh, rings, they are very important. Now, the question is, when I have an integral domain like this, how can I check what the units are, the irreducibles, the primes? How can I see what they are if I am in an integral domain like this? So for that, we need a function that it is called the norm. So this norm, so to, I'm going to call it the norm, is going to, to take us from this integral domain is going to take us from this integral domain to the um, positive uh, integers or non-negative integers. So I'm going to write it this way. Okay, so that's the norm. The norm will take us from the integral domain into the non-negative integers. So the norm will have this form and norm of a plus b square root d, so elements of the integral domain, it will be taken this way, a squared minus, uh, did I write this well, d, yes, because the squared here is d and b squared, yes, that's perfect, okay? So now, uh, now that we define this function, this norm, 
that is taking us from this integral domain. Sorry, you must not be seeing this once. Okay, so the function norm that is taking us from the integral domain to the non-negative integers this way n of a plus b square root d this is that's why we say this is the norm it will have these uh, characteristics one uh, n of x will be zero if and only if x is zero there is no other way to get a zero here um, n of x y is n of x times n of y you can check this is really easy x is a unit uh, if and only if n of x equals 1 this is easy to, to check too and if n of x is prime it implies that x is irreducible in the integral domain see this is totally different from the prime numbers because if a number is prime, okay, he is re, uh, in this case he, uh, you can factor, okay. Uh, uh, sorry, if a number is prime, we are used to that. If a number is prime, we cannot fa factor the number, right? Here is the other way around. If n of x is prime, then x is irreducible in z in the, the integral domain, meaning it will be. Uh, factor and one of them will be a unit okay so our intention here was to give you an idea in this integral domains right of this type how to get units irreducibles and primes so we're going to see this example there are many of these kind of examples in in the many books that talk about all this of an an integral domain, this sort of integral domain, you always get this sort of examples, an integral domain, and we are going to get elements in this integral domain that are irre irreducible, but that are not prime. Okay, but <clears throat> let us, so n of a plus b square root of minus 3, uh, using the norm function, will be a squared plus 3b squared, right? Now, that, let us pick one element. Okay, 1 plus square root of minus 3. And we suppose we can factor this element. So if we can factor this element, 1 plus square root of minus 3 will be equal to a certain x times y and of course x and y uh, should not be uh, units okay so suppose we can factor 1 plus square root of minus 3 equals x y x and y not units uh, if that is true then n of x y and we saw that uh, three or four steps before it will be equal to n of x times n of y you can you can check that this is true in this norm function so n of 1 plus square root of minus 3 would be equal to 4 okay because the square root of this you're getting 4 right okay if you're getting 4 here this should be 2 right this should be 2 and this should be 2 but we have a problem there are no integers such that a squared the norm function a squared in, in this integ particular integral domain a squared plus 3b squared equals 2 and since this is true so uh, this is not true if we factor either x or y is a unit and that uh, transforms one this element in an irreducible element okay because here we supposed we could factor the number into x and y not units but we got into this absurd so either x or y is a unit so the element 
is irreducible. Now let us check that the element is a prime or check that it is not a prime. Okay, this is irreducible. Okay, so we were expecting that this implies prime, right? Let us check if the, the that particular number is a prime or not. Okay, so we know it is irreducible and let us check if irreducible does imply prime in this case. Okay. Uh, first let us observe the product of this 1 plus square root of minus 3 times 1 minus square root of minus 3. Okay, so this should be 4 as we saw before, right? And 4 is 2 times 2. So any of these elements, in particular this one, this element should divide 2 times 2. Okay, so uh, this on, 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 on one side. On the other hand, 2 should be equal to 1 plus square root of minus 3 times a element, a general element in the integral domain, right? Okay. So 2 should be equal to this, and now if you do the, the multiplication, you will get a minus 3b plus a plus b times square root of minus 3. So we must have a minus 3b equals 2, because this is 2, so this would be this one, and there is no uh, square root of minus 3 here, so this one a plus b should be equal to 0, but this is impossible. Okay, so uh, the number is not a prime number. So irreducible does not mean prime in general, in particular here in an integral domain. Okay.